Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. This is a little bit update video about my common planning I'll be talking about of what's happening beside my, my back right now. And there are gonna be some changing and it's gonna be some maybe for you a complete crazy thing to do, but or maybe not. Maybe you are the same as I am, but um for me, is everything has to be in order and complete to be workable, right? Uh, and, uh, otherwise, my brain is gonna go. Boop. So I'm gonna show you a little bit what's happening, uh, a little bit different uh, of some things going on, and I don't have any GoPro yet. Maybe in future, and then other videos gonna be kind of different. Uh, maybe I can uh, film from two different uh, diagonals and so on, but. Right now I'm just filming from my phone and I have a small limit of time that I actually can film otherwise I cannot transfer it into my computer and put it in to a program so it's depend how long the video is or how many clips I have to do are really mixed but so that's why it's gonna be kind of editing uh, if I do have a pro GoPro, I can do a lot of longer videos without editing uh, or well editing I can do but I can just put in some text and so on instead of cutting uh, cut 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 the um, frames so but anyway uh, we start with this and I'm gonna show you a little bit the planning what I am um, been done and what I would like to have and how I'm gonna for me feel comfortable uh, of how I want to have it uh, I'm not 100% done yet but I'm gonna explain a little bit my plan and what I'm gonna do and so on so maybe you think I am completely brain poof uh, and uh, completely mad I don't know but we are all different you know, we, you like that, I like that, she or her or him or that guy like this part, thing, how to do it. And some people don't even do it. They just do it and everything is complete mess. But controlled mess, I don't know, it's dependent. So we are very different, but we are still family here in YouTube. And I really hope you're going to like this video and at least share your thought about my, my, <laughs> my crazy idea, at least. All right, uh, I'm gonna start to show you a little bit what's happening first on that part, then on that part, then I'm gonna show you a little bit what's happening on that part, right? So let's start with that part, right? So let's start with the fan wall, right? This is my sticker wall. I do have a lot, a lot of space to fill out, so be sure to send some stickers, right? And I'm gonna go down to that part. I did have two of those drawers and I've been changing that and some of them uh, are still here at the beginning so we start from the top go to the bottom one and this first part I do have all my small kind of uh, stuff all kind of uh, tweezers and other stuff and this part I have just kind of pipe cutter, I have my metal uh, cut, uh, scissors and so on and also these kind of one, one inch um, scale and the part under I have uh, bigger scissors and, and the flyers and wrenches and so on this is the big part and here I do have all my sanding that I need for the sanding part and this part is just uh, fill up right now I'm not done there yet then this box is only for my Dremel Dremel parts on the Dremel machine for battery I have a Dremel that goes to the electrical one and just some spare parts so this is my Dremel part Right, I'm gonna lower you a little bit more down. Boom. And here I have quite not done yet how I think about this box, but 
Here I got all these kind of clamps and so on. And just for the boxes for now. And I have an elongated wrench that I can put on if I need. I have some extra longer screws and uh, torques and so on. Then we move down here. Here I got my sender, I got my heat gun, extra drills, and then my solder irons with the station and so on. All the soldering iron parts are gonna be in this box. For now, I just put all the gloves and safety stuff in this box lower down. I have gloves, I have some air protection, extra air protection. I uh, do have some um, stripes if I need to uh, hold something real tight if I need to or transporting some stuff. So this is what I kind, but I'm not really 100% done yet with this box. But anyway, I'm gonna show you the next part. So there is the new furniture I've been changing. I did have the white one before, but right now I have this part. And it's actually quite good because I have the kind of stuff I really want to have everything organized. So in this box, for now, uh, I have some paper, I do have some uh, bandage box and fly and, um, and you know, kind of thing if you cut yourself or so on. And I have my zip bags. And then here we have some boxes. Uh, that I need to go through. First of all, we have these regular three boxes with just kind of mixed stuff uh, that I need to sort out. Uh, I'm, in this bottom one, I do have uh, the kind of uh, fingers and mobile phone, uh, circuit boards, and other kind of gold plated stuff. And other, another little small box with stuff I need to process before everything is completely done and inside here I have three boxes the bottom one is just regular IC chips with some uh, chips from the RAMs and so on so everything is just ceramic uh, chips no BGA, no CPU, no nothing just regular IC chips and the middle one are just uh, cell phone uh, Circuit boards, uh, RAM sticks, also the top one is also this RAM stick I need to process to cut all the gold fingers and all for one. I'm not done yet, but this is just a part of my thing how I want to or try to organize. Then we go to the next, thing. this is boxes, some flashlight uh, and some extra plastic. I think we can put it there. So in this box is actual the part where I have all the uh, rubber um, O-rings. I have boxes with, with screws. Another box with screws and so on. And another box there. And another box there. Uh, I want to have an easy if I need to needles. And here we have this this case where I have a full box of uh, Torx and hex I can use for longer stuff. I have this box full of screwdrivers and all kinds of different sizes. Same deal here. I have more screwdrivers, flat and, and uh, cross. I have my little new by regular hand drill for kind of screwdrivers. I have my electronic screwdrivers. Uh, this red means that you can use it for electronics. Uh, kind of you want to change the switches and some stuff. Uh, we not get electric shot. So yes. Uh, VBE screwdriver set, all right? And I have a box just full of uh, bits that I'm still working on to fill up. So we go for the lower part. What do we have in the lower part? My thing here is a bit different. Just, just for now I have 
computers that I'm gonna scrap. I didn't know how to put them anywhere, so I just put them here. And I do have a few boxes. Um, this is in coming plan. You can see down where it's empty and so on. It's just a start of a new beginning. And the bottom one, yes, uh, we have a box here. And this box is only gold, high gold plated stuff that I just put in here. Uh, so this is just only high yield gold plated pins that I'm gonna process. But I need to put it somewhere before I actually do it. And here I have a box full of cell phones that I want to process in time. Uh, and some smaller round sticks and so on. And these box are mixed compiled stuff with some scrap I want to sort out as well. Uh, I'm not gonna have this in the future. This is gonna be the boxes where I uh, uh, want to stock up, you know. But right now I just have everything here uh, as a beginning. So this is one part of the plan also coming in the future as a stockpiling stuff before actual trying to process it or sell it. These box are just same deal. It's just mixed with all kinds of stuff. Then we have this box. This box just only full with uh, half plated gold paints that I need to process. It's all kind of Material that you recognize from the scrapping and that you can see from the ram sticks and connections or blah 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 um, That also needs gonna be processed be in separated box Then we have the same as the other one just started to just I just put everything here I'm gonna sort everything out and process it. We have some brass. We have some gold. We have some copper transformers aluminium and blah 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 So this is very mixed box that I'm gonna process and put in separate boxes in future so I know where to go through. Then, what do we have in here? Let me show you. So, let's start from the bottom one. I do have some silver mylar in the bottom one and some old Similar plated stuff that I'm gonna go through trying to do some electrolytic stuff. Then I have a full box of VGA, DVI, SCARTs, and regular, you know, stuff that are gold plated contact from the uh, screens and so on. Then I have another one just full of kind of uh, printer, scanner, um, contacts, old um, AUX contact, full bladed gold contacts, and audio and other kind of USB stuff that are gonna be sorted out in time as well. And uh, here is the not so full, but it's only this is only AI 45 jacks. And this is I call the male because you put it in. So this is the male jacks, and this is the same but female RJ45 jacks female. Everything is a separate, separate actual quality of gold. So that's why I want to separate all these kind of units because this contain a certain amount of gold. Some of them are high yield. Some of them are just half plated. So you iron separating um, when I process this, I'm gonna process them in different boxes. I'm gonna come to that. And here I just have the silver contacts, silver plated contacts, and just some few switches. We have a smaller one, a big one. Um, uh, silver plated stuff with some silver buttons that I also need to process and sort out how and where and why. Then also I do have my thing where I have my regular drills and the charger is gonna be there uh, and so on. 
So, what's happening behind me? Well, I do have my magnets here that I have been using for a long time. Uh, I'm gonna put up another magnet here because I do have an extra one uh, that I always gonna have my tools that I normally use. And what I like about this part is actually I do have this lamp. I can separately go for one or I can go for both. And I can, this is a magnetic lamp that I can change it how I want to feel it. If I want to have the closer one or I just extra lights when I'm scrapping or if I just want to show up the tools in the wall. So this is just a lamp that I had to put up. It was also uh, free. I do have two of those. I maybe I put up some new one and uh, an extra one. I don't know. So I'm gonna put some extra magnet here because when I'm standing here, I want to reach the tools I'm regularly using and put them back. Uh, kind of, you know, hammer and the tweezers and nibbler and cutting and bending stuff. Everything's gonna be in order that I normally use. So that's one part of the uh, coming stuff that I want to have. So one more is gonna be up here that I can reach all kind of uh, scissors and so on for a smaller part, big part or regular use. Not so much uh, being hiding in a box. I'm just gonna grab it, use it and put it back. So what's going on here, all right? Uh, first I need to remove this one. So. This is just screws and so on that I know I need, but they were in other boxes. So this is gonna be sorted out in different boxes in time. This is also I'm working on. Uh, this is a locking mechanism for, uh, for door handles and so on. But this is not the point. The thing is this drawing is what actually filled by, full of, you know, kind of just electronic e-waste and circuit board and just scrap and uh, actual for no purpose use so it's better to put them in my bag and remove them and use these boxes for stuff when I really need it so I'm not done here also but one of the boxes here is empty but this box this is box just only full of uh, let me see right there okay cool uh, this box is just full of all kinds of different of smaller saw that I can use, been using, uh, this is a metal saw, uh, wooden saw, uh, ceramic saw, other stuff I might maybe can be using in kind of uh, e-waste some stuff. And this box is just for now uh, filled up with stuff that I'm gonna process. I'm not gonna show you what's inside that. The bottom one on here, or uh, also just called extra machine. I have a smaller jigsaw and so on. I'm gonna remove that and, and put some other stuff in here. In this box, I'm gonna put a little bit closer so you can see, right? Uh, here in this box, I have all kinds of knife cutters and, and files, uh, regular cutter, Cutter, knife, file, file, uh, another cutter, another, everything here is more file. So this is the file and knife boxes. Um, also this kind of scraper if you want to clean the window and so on. It's so everything in here. And this actual a box cutter that you use in the company. Because you, in Sweden you don't have the... Um, you're not authorized to use a regular knife like that in your pocket when you're unboxing stuff. So this one is the one you can use. Open it, cut and drop. So you're not gonna cut yourself in work. This is how this works here in Sweden. So we have some rules about that. So, next part. Uh, I'm not also not done here, here but just the beginning. Here I just have all my hammer. The bigger one, except the one I use in there. But this one is the bigger one more sledge, uh, I have the, the flat back end, uh, I also got a geo hammer uh, with some uh, tip and two smaller hammers. So this is just a kind of smaller, I have also the uh, extra claw hammer, uh, like three of them, 
Oh, by the way, I have a box here full of tactical switches. And when it comes to these metal boxes, uh, I just have started it. I'm not done there yet. Uh, here I got all kind of uh, easels in the center one. Also a box and also an extra manual uh, file machine that you can cut, uh, file your research and so on. And here I am starting also to process. Do I have some kind of other stuff? I have more of these uh, torques and so on. So I'm also be working here what I'm gonna use uh, in this box. Now I'm gonna show you these two bigger box what's inside those. In this first box, here will I have got all my micro scrapping tools. I'll be changing from the white drawing into here. Here I have my wooden drills, metal drills, all kind of micro uh, minimi screws and bits and so on that I'm been using a lot. I have my all kinds of bits and cell phone bits. I have an extra box here with just more bits that I've been using. And I have my hex, I got actually two hex. And here all I got my extra thing that I can remove uh, the pins or some shafts. And I have this box full of kind of extra drills and hex and so on. So this is this box where I'm gonna be using it because when I'm standing here, I want to just open the drawing, break up the stuff that I need and put it back on. Now comes to the crazy part. I'm gonna show you my plan, <laughs> what I've been doing. I'm gonna show you in a second. I hope it's working this way. So in here is the uh, the part that comes to the crazy stuff, right? So when I pull this out, I'm gonna have these boxes like that. So this is the high, this is the high yield. This is the gold plated part with just only pure gold. And I'm gonna separate everything here because this one is our actual old gold from, uh, you know, kind of the uh, 80 and 70s. So this is more high yield and regular contacts like that. So this is gonna be separated. And this one is half plated and this box is going to be just full of regular buttons and so on but these are quite uh, pure silver so this is going to stay in separate box here all the gold uh, uh, thing that I'm going to remove out from RJ45 jacks and here is the start of the um, uh, 1780 process gold that I have in my garage in the other video and I'm gonna collect some washers I have some extra blade for the knives and also gonna save those smaller uh, springs that looks like an E that you can find in most of them because I can resell that so and I'm gonna put some you know uh, silver crystal and those uh, blue ones so this is the kind of micro scrapping box that I'm gonna still start to fill up. I have a lot of boxes that I can start to fill this up. I have some tweezers and this is just gonna go through everything. Uh, this is the silver buttons and so on. Then I have this one. Really, really nice, good one. You put it in a drill. If you don't reach it, you can... This depend how you want to reach it and you have your elongate stuff that you can put it in. This has been saving me a lot of time as well when I do some scrapping if I don't reach it. So, yeah, that's the part of the thing I am being working on. So, that, that's what I mentioned. It was It's just the beginning of the ending. The metal case uh, shelf I had here before, I'm gonna use it in another room or in the garage or in my storage. I don't know yet, but there is gonna be some kind of backup thing that I can put some stuff uh, that I can brought in to box. Okay, now today I'm gonna bring this box and I'm gonna process everything in this box and sort everything out then I'm gonna refill it with some new stuff so I can bring it in, process some stuff, put everything in there, go out with it. I won't have to clean everything behind me because now I can reach everything I need 
my vice, my storage, uh, another storage, I uh, can reach my tools, uh, I can com reach my computer, whatever, you know? Uh, so, I really hate to move stuff if I need stuff. I just want to grab it, use it, put it back. This is my, my brain, this is how I'm working. And now I'm starting to get there. It took some time, but this shelf actually helped me a lot about that. So, in the brown locker I have, you can saw that in the beginning when I show you the, the white drawing, I have some, a lot of stuff already in Microsoft process. I'm gonna fill it in there. Then I have behind me, as you see in me, when I'm doing some lives, uh, you can see the shelves behind me. Also, some kind of micro scrapping stuff that I'm gonna put there and I'm gonna put some other stuff in that. Alright? So, yeah, this is gonna be a kind of big changing. Uh, and I like to have it like that. And in, in time, I'm also gonna change my carpet to a new one. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be a dark one or something, because this one is quite, quite damaged. So, um, probably I'm gonna make, make a dark one. Uh, or I bring my old brown one I had before and replace it with this one uh, to make it more better, I don't know yet. Or black one, I don't know, because I don't wanna see the... Uh, if I drop something with oil or so on, you can you see it directly on the white carpet you know when i'm coming because it's black one it looks still black dark brown it still look dark brown so yeah uh, there are some changes uh i don't know what happening in future um another more stuff gonna come up on the wall as well uh in, in future so hope you like this video Give me a comment and thought about my crazy idea, how I think, and this is how I'm working. So, <laughs> so thank you everyone for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Until then, see you next time.